So today we are going to be making a foldable for similar figures, specifically similar triangles. And when you are finished, this is what we will be looking at. So I start with a regular piece of copy paper and taco fold this. Then cut off the excess. And on top here, I write similar figures and then I ask the students, what is it that you already know about similar figures? And at this point in their education, most students know that similar figures have the same shape, but that they're different sizes. So then on the inside, I had the students draw two triangles, one following the edges here. And if you do not have colored pencils or markers with you, you may want to pause the video and go get them. So there's one of the triangles. And then here. is the other one. And I have labeled the vertices on these triangles. I labeled to this point T, this one H, this one E, down here I laid the, this one M, U, so here, what you need to know about similar figures, here's a similarity statement. Triangle, and this is the symbol for triangle. Triangle T H E is similar. This is the symbol for similar to triangle M U D. And from there, I colored angle T green, so it's green T. Angle H, I colored red. And then angle E, I colored blue. And then I did the same on my similarity statement. So then, if you folded these back to where these were stacked on top of each other, angle H would be similar to angle U. So I'm going to color those two the same color. And then if you looked here, 
the two angles that would overlap would be angle T and angle M. So I'm going to color angle M green, just like angle T. And then if I looked here, where they were overlapped, if you open that up, angle D and E would overlap. So I'm going to color D the same color as E, blue. And then I'm going to do the same to my similarity statement. D was the same color as E. T was the same color as M. And H and U were the same colors. Please note, and this is important, that this T and this M are the ones that are similar. They are what's called corresponding angles. Angle H and angle U are in the same place in your similarity statements. They are in the middle or second place. So these two are corresponding angles. Same thing with E and D. They are both in third place or last place they are the corresponding angles. So what's good about, I'm going to divide that in half, what's good about corresponding angles for similar figures is that they are congruent. And if you are not familiar with that word, means that they are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. So angle T is congruent to angle H is congruent to angle E is congruent to angle T is congruent to angle M. By the way, this is the symbol for angle, if you didn't know that. Angle, not angel, L-E. And this is from, all of these angles are from the same triangle, triangle T-H-E. So therefore, all of these are going to be from triangle M-U-D. T and M. are corresponding angles. H corresponds with angle U. And angle E corresponds with angle D, if you look at your similarity statement or if you look at the triangles themselves. So therefore, if I said, if angle E measured to be 42 degrees, then because these two are similar, these two triangles are similar, then angle D corresponds to angle E. It is also 42 degrees. And while we are doing similar triangles, it's a good time to remind you that all triangles have a sum of 180 degrees in their angles. Moving on. Corresponding sides. For similar triangles or similar figures, they are not congruent. They are proportional. So line segment TH, and this is the symbol for line segment.
would be similar to if you look at T is the green one, H is the red one. So if you look back at your similarity statement, green to red, green to red, first set place to second place would be MU, line segment. And again, all of these line segments will be from triangle THE. And all of these over here will be from triangle MUD. So line segment HE, H was red, E is blue. So line segment HE is going to be similar to, if you go from red to blue, or from second place to third place, second place to third place, red to blue, HE line segment is similar to line segment UD. Then line segment TE, so we're going from green to blue, and we need the line segment. Similar to line segment from first to third, or from first place to third place from green to blue, over here, first to third, green to blue, MD. So order is important. And I'm going to use highlighters to show these sides that are congruent, or excuse me, corresponding sides that are proportional. So if this were from T to H, here's from T to H, corresponds with side MU. Line segment HE, corresponds with line segment UD. Line segment TE corresponds with line segment MD. We are going to pause this and continue this foldable on a second video. Please stay tuned.